Hey guys, let's see how to connect a mini projector like this to an iPhone. So it's super simple. I have my iPhone here. There are different ways to do it. The first way is just mirror uh, the image to your projector. So you just come here and on network settings, you just make sure that you have your wireless network connected to your Wi-Fi and check here with your iPhone if you have the same network, okay? So here, basically, you see that I have the same Wi-Fi connected to, which is my Wi-Fi-24. You just need to select the Wi-Fi that you want here from the list, right? And then you can use an application or it can mirror the phone, right? And I'm just mirror first here. You can just uh, come here and tap on mirror screen. And here you're gonna see your projector. In this case, my mini projector is the HY300 Pro or also known as Meg Cubic, right? So I just hit here and you see that's mirroring back there. So it depends on the mini projector that you have. It works either way just by mirroring here, right? I can mirror here because if you take a look here on the projector, I have this option available. So to mirror that way, you need to come here to screencast or, or whatever menu you have back there on your projector and look for AirPlay. So AirPlay is the standard way to connect to an iPhone. Here, I don't need to enable. I just see that I have Air, AirPlay here is uh, available all the time. So I can mirror like this. This is one option, then you can just uh, come here and start uh, mirroring the phone, right? The other option here is just use a software. As long as you have, again, the proje mini projector and the phone in the same network, you can use this Trim Screen app, okay? So here I have this app that I can use the remote control. You see back there, that's working. When I press any key here, for example, to go home or to just use the button here. So super simple to to use, you can also control the volume back there. You see, the volume is working back there. You can even use the mouse, load apps, the apps that are available there. You can just load it from here. I'm loading YouTube right now, for example. Okay, super, super simple to work. Back to home. And you can even use here a different way, which is mirror the control. You see that I have the same uh, screen that I have back there on my mini projector. Works pretty fine that way, super easy to use. You just tap here and it's the same as you use the, the control, okay? So super, super simple, that's this turn screen. Again, let me just show here how it works. So let me just uh, disconnect here. There we go. You see that it finds my uh, mini projector here. That's because I have phone and proje mini projector in the same network and I have this software installed, this app. Let me just come here to the app store. So you can see that's the one that I got, Trans Screen. Okay, let's make sure that's the correct one. You see here, the screen that's available, that's the one. Just double check that you're getting the correct one because, because there's a lot of them available on the store, right? As long as you do this, you come here, it's gonna find it, it can refresh, and then you just tap on it and it, it connects, just like so. And you can use the remote control, just as I showed here before, you can even start casting, which is basically mirroring, right? So now it's not using AirPlay anymore, but it's using just this app. Okay, stop broadcasting here. You can also load pictures back there. Any picture that you have here. Takes a while and loads there. So useful. If you can want to play some video back there also. Let me just play this AI video hey here. There, tech enthusiasts. Buckle up because today I'm taking you on an exhilarating journey through the evolution of AI. Super, super simple. Okay. And again, mirroring the control or the remote. Super simple, simple to use, okay? I hope this helps. That's the way you can connect your mini projector to an iPhone. I hope this helps. 
Please leave your comments here, subscribe to this channel, and I see you in the next one.